my package. Welcome back, everybody, to another Booster Cracking. It's a little bit of a Pokemon week, and today I just got the brand new Arceus figure collection box in. A couple over here, a couple to save, a couple to open up. We've got some cool packs, a really cool statue, and an awesome promo card that we're going to go over and check out. If you guys enjoy the collection openings or the Pokemon box openings, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I can tell you right now, this box is great quality. They've been really up in the game with the collection boxes. It's got a really nice textured glitter feel to it, which you'll see more once we go into the unboxing. Uh, but this thing just looks awesome. So it's just a great piece, even to just have in the box, on the shelf. It looks great. It's not too big or anything like the huge uh, evolution ones that we had a little while ago so a nice little small box for a nice collection or if you want to rip it open for that statue i couldn't blame you the thing looks sweet but let's jump into it let's have some fun and let's see what kind of pulls we can get okay here it is the rcs v figure collection this box man let me tell you i know i kind of said it a little bit in the opening there but and it's hard to even show you the detail that's on this but a really nice like rough sandpaper-esque texture on it with that kind of glitter but not crazy glitter that'll just come off on your finger thank goodness otherwise i'd probably be giving this a really low rating if that was the case because i hate glitter like that. It's ridiculously bad so thankfully they didn't do that and the box just looks awesome power up your pokemon with rcs v a figure collection inside we got the foil promo card featuring rcs v a sculpted rcs figure four tcg booster packs and a cody card speaking of code cards here's a little extra for you pikachu v box cody there you go all right let's get this thing open i'm super excited to check out this statue man this thing looks pretty freaking sweet Let's pull it out. There we go. Pop this open. And yeah, let's look at the promo card really quick. Now, this promo card was originally like a promo from Japan. I don't think at the time a lot of people thought this would come to English, but it did. So it looks pretty freaking sweet. I love these landscape Pokemon ones they've been doing. Unfortunately, as you can see, the cut on this card is not great. So it might be worth just opening another box just to get a nice cut on one of these but the box was kind of destroyed uh so i chose to open up this one i didn't even look at the promo card to see how the cut was kind of maybe should have thought that through oh well dope looking card though really like this now the statue let's check this boy out oh man look at that the detail on just this tiny little i don't know three three and a half inch statue looks pretty freaking sweet he i mean i really love how they set it up it's got like the background it's got the clouds, it's got the sun rays, look, looking very majestic, as he should, you know. Does it have any writing on the bottom? Got the little stamp, Game Freak, you know it. That looks really, really dope, though. That'll be really nice up on my shelf somewhere. I'm curious to know, like, what these will be worth, actually, too. Because, you know, the pin collections, the pin usually goes for, like, seven to eight bucks, kind of. So, I'm curious to see if the statue will hold a decent amount of value. And, you know, this is, like, what, a $30 box? for these so depending on how much like the statue is going to be worth now and in the future this can make the box a worthwhile pickup just for the promo and the statue we got the code card which i'll give to you guys at the end of the video so stay tuned for that but the packs we've got we've got two brilliant stars awesome awesome only four packs in this little box a chilling rain but the best thing is, look at this Cosmic Eclipse. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I've really opened any Cosmic Eclipse. I kind of missed the boat on that one, I think. But I've heard this is a really good set, so I'm excited to open this one. So I guess we'll leave Cosmic for the end. Let's start with the least popular pack, the Chilling Rain. I mean, it's not terrible or anything, but obviously Brilliant Stars is an amazing set. And Cosmic, you know, I've heard, I've heard great things. So there's the Cody. Let's see what we can find in this one. Do we still go? Yeah, Chili Rain's still four to the front. I'm trying to think ahead to Cosmic. And if you go four to the front on that one, we got a Deli Bird, a Larvesta, a Mareep, a Heracross, a Clobopus, a Falafi Reverse, and uh, whatever the hell his name is. It's non hollow though. Brilliant Stars. Let's see what's in this one, shall we? Come on. Pull this bad boy out here and Cody and hope for something good. 
Got to get a trainer gallery. That would be the best. I mean, I'll take an Arceus. I have yet to pull an Arceus card from Brilliant Stars. It's ridiculous. I've opened two boxes and a ton of packs. No Arceus card. Pretty crazy. Sharon's Care, Reverse, and a Goldruck non-hollow. Next one up. Let's see it. Get it open if I can. Okay, it doesn't want to open. There we go. All right. Cody for you guys. Let's see what we can find in this one. Bang! Air Cerulea's Premonition, whatever. Collapse Stadium, a Bidoof. Dumb little Bidoof. I feel like I see a glint on the end here. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We got Farfetched. We got a Reverse Morgrem. And a Luminia. Lum Luminian? Luminian? <laughs> I don't know how. A V card, though. I don't have this one, actually. So that's pretty cool. Probably not worth anything. It's just a V, but... It's a cool little fishy. Depending on how we do on the Cosmic Eclipse pack here will determine if I maybe open up one more of these boxes. So fingers crossed that we get something good. I'm hoping it's four to the front. Okay, it seems like it is. Okay, just want to make sure. It is sun and moon, so I believe they were still in the same four to the front mode for that one. Let's see what we got here. A Natu. Oh, Trainer Gallery. Yeah, is it still card? called trainer gallery in this one this subset or is it just a secret a weevil a sharp looking one too that is really really dope actually and this is like the subset that i'm trying to collect in brilliant this is of course the older set so i don't think they had technically the subsets yet uh, but that is really nice a gold rock again okay we're getting all the gold rocks not hollow too for that one but this one's really sweet hopefully it's got some good value Frick it. Might as well open a second one, right? Let's do it. Promo card, and I did check this one out before I opened it. Definitely a better cut on this one, so I'll take it, throw it into a top loader, save it for a rainy day. Once again, the statue. It's worth taking a second look at, you know? Let's just remind you of the quality of this box that you'd be getting. A second Cody for the end. Two more Brilliant. Another Chilling Rain. And another Cosmic Eclipse. Same run of the show. We're going to start with the Chilling Rain first and see how it goes. Cody for you. Give me a full art trainer, and I will be happy. I haven't gotten like a full art trainer from a box in a while. Clara, is she in the set as a full art? I hope so. She's a pretty cool card. All right, let's see it. We got Porygon. We got a Slowpoke Reverse and a Surfetch tier, not hollow. Chilling Rain doing us dirty, unfortunately, but now we have our brilliant stars to count on. Guys, you're going to want to check out Wednesday's video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. We're opening up the Lucario V-Star box. Lots of cool stuff in that, and we get an awesome pull. So stay tuned for that. 12 p.m. Wednesday. Look for it. Be there. Let's keep going. Shinx, Cubchu, Chubchu, whatever, Nose Pass, a Snow Runt, a Luxo Reverse, pretty sweet looking card, and a Moltres Hollow. Okay, okay. One more Brilliant Stars. Let's see it. Come on. What do we got in this pack? Am I just revealing stuff? Not quite yet. Almost did, though. Let's go for to the front and see what we can find. We got a nice Team Yell Cheer, whatever, Friends and Galar, a Chimacho, Electaboos, a Bidoof, a Snazal, a Grimer, is that a reverse? Is it? Yeah, that was our, that was our reverse. That, man, this does not look like a reverse. Holy crap, but Mega Mortar, non-hollow. Okay, Cosmic, you're going to wait one second here. I've got some Evolving Skies that I want to open up first. We're just going to open up all the sets today, you know? Evolving Skies, oh man, I mean, that and Brilliant are just awesome, awesome sets. So let's see if we can get anything good in here. Try not to reveal anything. Pyroar, Dream Ball, Baldor, Bagalon, a Love Disc, a C Dot, a Sackcloth, whatever, Flaby, a Lilligant, Reverse Rare, very nice, and a Duralundin V, pretty sharp looking card, I'll be honest. He looks pretty cool. I don't necessarily like his polygonal shape, but it is what it is. Cool V card. All right, our last Evolving Skies, and then we'll jump into the Cosmic cosmic boy below us here let's see the cody and let's hope for another good card evolving skies man come on let's get it i've gotten a couple good secret rares from this set um but i haven't hit the biggest hit of them all yet so we're looking for that i think it's like the sylveon or the umbreon or something like that i kind of forget but cutie fly but we just get an Ampharos, not hollow, so whatever. We're mainly here just for the Cosmic now at this point. So let's open it, see if we get another one of those cool trainer cards. Those things are sweet. What would you call those from the Cosmic Eclipse days? I don't even know. 
Let's see the last pack here. Come on. Here we go. Red and blue. Dope. Roxy. Dope. Larvesta. Oddish. Trapinch. Psyduck. Cosmog. A Sunkern. A Reverse Drillbur. And Kygri. Non-Hollow. Okay, we got our good one for here, but uh, second go was not as lucky. Really, like, dope looking card, though. Happy I got this one. It's going to make me want to go buy the rest of this little subset from Cosmic now, I guess. <laughs> Overall, I think this box is really awesome. If you can get it at the $30 price point, definitely should be worth it, especially if these statues are a decent value. I think overall, just keeping this box sealed will be very beneficial for people that like doing that sort of thing. You get a cool promo, you get a cool statues. Here's the promo cards for you guys, so go ahead and snag those if you can. And again, make sure to subscribe for more videos coming up. We got Pokemon on Wednesday. Well, I thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have interest in more of the figure collections or other premium collections, I've got more boxes over here just waiting to get opened up. Or if there's just interest in Pokemon in general, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Look for more things in the future. Again, Wednesday, 12 p.m., we're opening up the Lucario V-Star box, so you're not going to want to miss that. We also open up a lot of different products here on the channel, including Force of Will, Go-Go's Crazy Bones, Glyos Toy Reviews, you name it. We've got a whole shelf back here full of it, so you're going to want to come along and join us on more openings, and we will see you guys in the next video.